Good morning. Today we'll be discussing determinants and we'll discuss examples based on determinants from the ATC paper. So this question is based on cofactors. So let us see what is a cofactor. Now, first of all, you need to know how to find determinant of 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. After that only you have to practice the other concepts. So A11 means what? First row and first column. 1, 2 is first row, second column and similarly the remaining elements of the determinant. Now if you want to find minor A11, that means you have to remove first row and first column and write remaining elements. So it will be A22, A23, A32 and A33. And then this is a 2 by 2 determinant, you have to find the value by multiplying and subtracting. Similarly, if you want to find minor of A12, you will remove first row, second column. So remaining elements will be, you have to write. So once you find the minor, then cofactor is minus 1 raised to i plus j minor of aij. So if it is a21, then minus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 and minor of a21. So this is how you find minor and cofactor. Now let us come back to the question. So here for 3, what will be the determinant? You have to exclude that row and the column. So you have to write 0, minus 2, 5 and 6. Similarly for minus 2, minus 2 is what actually a 3, 3. So accordingly determinant comes out to be 3, minus 1, 4 and 5. Then you substitute in the formula and simplify. So the first value is minus 10, second value is 19 and the question is product of it. So minus 10 into 19 you have to take. So the answer comes out to be minus 190. It was a simple question but little lengthy. Next one, it is a question on matrix but it is actually a determinant. It says matrix is singular. So what is of a matrix being singular? When the determinant is 0. So you have to take determinant of this matrix and solve it. It is a 3 by 3 determinant and after solving you have to equate it to 0. Then you get the value of x. Again, this is a similar question where they have given that the determinant is equal to 0 and you have to find x. So simply solve this 3 by 3 determinant and then you will get the value of x. So here when we simplify, it is coming out to be an equation x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0, which is actually x plus 1 the whole square. So x is equal to minus 1. Next topic is Cramer's rule. So it is used to find the solution of equations. So if it is an equation in two variables, a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2, x is dx by d, y is dy by d. Now what is d? For d you have to take determinant of the coefficients of x and y. So a1, b1, a2, b2. Now for dx you have to substitute in the x the value of the constants. So c1, c2, b1, b2. Similarly for y, you will put the constants in, in y. So it will be c1, c2 in the y column and you have to solve it. Similarly, if it is an equation in three variables, same formula, but now you will have a 3 by 3 determinant. So for finding x, you will put d1, d2, d3 in the first column. For y, you will put it in second column. And for z, you will put it in the third column. So let us see one question. Using Cramer's rule, find x and y. So 7x minus 2y is 4x plus y equal to 3. So d is equal to 7 minus 2, 1, 1. And for dx, it will be first 4, uh, 4 and 3 in the first column, which are the constants. And similarly for dy, 4 and 3 in the second column. And simply substituting you get x and y. Now in this question it is x minus 1, y plus 1. So let us substitute that as some another variable. So 2a plus b is 3 and minus a plus 3b is 7. Now first you will use the same method and find what is a and what is b. After finding a and b you have to substitute 1 upon x minus 1 equal to a and 1 upon y plus 1 equal to b then you have to find the value of x and y because question is to find what is x and y not to find a and b. So you got x and y. 
now the consistency of equations so if there are equations and uh, you need to know whether they are consistent so here it is a two variable equation and three equations are given so determinant of a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 will be zero now you need to understand that in that formula the c1 c2 and c3 were on the left hand side of the equation not on the right hand side so you have to rearrange the question given to you so the first one will become 3x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 you need to bring the constant to the left side next equation will become kx plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 and then 2x minus y plus 3 equal to 0 so this is the equation now from this equation you have to substitute a b and c and then solve the determinant so 3 1 minus 2 k 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 3 after solving you get k equal to 11 so from determinant you can expect to solve determinants to find unknown or to find solution of equations or consistency questions.